I brought the sensor logs, Master Satil. I'm sure you have many questions. Master Tolbraga will answer them. It's good to finally meet you in person. They say you're the greatest Jedi the Order has seen in generations. I believe the Force has guided you to me. Together, we'll defeat the Empire. Restoring peace to the galaxy is the reason I became a Jedi. I'm organizing a top-secret strike team of our best and brightest, Jedi who don't know the meaning of failure. Twice, you've saved the Jedi Order from destruction. Englemore and Darth Engel were formidable opponents. Now I ask you to confront the ultimate evil and help me capture the Sith Emperor. You don't dream small, do you, Master? There's an ancient fortress orbiting the Imperial homeworld, Droman Kaas. It's hidden by a powerful cloaking device. The Emperor rules his people from this cloaked fortress. Not even the highest-ranking Sith can find him. But we're going to locate that fortress, get inside it, and seize the Emperor. If there's a way to achieve these goals, we must find it. We've already made great strides toward our objective. The man you saved on Tatooine scouted the Drummond Cast system. His sensor logs will help us plan this assault. We'll plot a hyperspace route through the Imperial Navy's defenses. Slip right past them. Other members of my strike team are uncovering ways to pierce the cloaking device and defeat the security around the Emperor's fortress. I could use your expertise on Balmora. The Empire and Republic are at war there, and the fighting has endangered our mission. Open war on Balmora? When did this happen? The invasion just began. Balmora belonged to the Republic before the Sith conquered it during the last war. Now the Republic wants it back. We've placed great responsibility on you, but I know you won't fail us. Contact your fellow strike team member Warren Sedora when you reach Balmora. He'll explain the mission. We're going to save the galaxy. May the Force be with us. Ah, Master Braga told me you were coming. Warren Sidoru. A pleasure. I'm grateful for your assistance. The situation is growing desperate. The Republic picked an unfortunate time to drive the Empire off Balmora. It's made our team's mission that much harder. Military reinforcements ought to make our job easier, not harder. My strengths lie in observation, subtlety, and negotiation. Not exactly welcome talents on the battlefield. Balmora is home to the largest weapon manufacturing plants in the galaxy. Half the munitions used in the last war originated on this world. The Empire develops horrific new instruments of destruction here. Balmora's creations have killed countless innocents. All that terrible power in the hands of the Sith. We can't let them keep it. I appreciate the sentiment, but be mindful of our mission. We're here for one particular item. We've learned the Empire has a cloaking device prototype at one of Balmora's advanced weapon factories. It's the same technology hiding the Emperor's fortress. If we obtain that cloaking device prototype, we can understand how it works, develop a way to see through it. How did the Empire develop cloaking device technology? They didn't. Intelligence indicates the prototype is alien in design. Possibly Rakata or Gree. Finding the cloaking device prototype is almost impossible thanks to the invasion. We need experienced native guides to sort through the chaos. Balmora has a well-established civilian resistance. Their spy network's knowledge of the Empire would be invaluable. Sounds like we'll need the resistance if we're going to find the cloaking device. Unfortunately, the resistance doesn't trust the Republic. Despite my best negotiations, they remain uncooperative. Can't say I blame them. The Empire's driven us off this planet twice already, leaving the Resistance holding the bag. Republic Command just intercepted a distress call. A Resistance medical facility is about to be overrun. I'd go, but an Imperial armor column's in my way. I need you to save that medical facility. I'll break that siege. Where am I going? I'm sending the medical facility's location. I don't know what you'll be facing there, but do whatever you must to save the Resistance fighters. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. May the Force be with you. Doc, what are you doing here? I'm busting you out, sweetheart. Where else would I be? I'm sure the Imperials weren't kind to your friend. Make sure she's all right. We thought we'd lost you, Metal. She's healthy as ever. 
Life signs green across the board. Where are the other prisoners? The Empire executed them. I was next. You came just in time. We're glad you're safe. Please, tell us what you discovered about the Empire's cloaking device project. Imperial scientists left Balmora with the prototype when the Republic invaded. It's long gone. Madel, I sense great conflict within you. I know you're lying. What are you afraid of? Wait just a minute. She's one of us. Warren wouldn't accuse her of lying unless he was certain. The truth will come out. Wouldn't you rather be the one who reveals it? When Nicolin hears the truth, he'll want to kill me. Promise you'll stop him. And we can't make assurances until we know what this is about. I should have let the Imperials kill me. Take it easy. Whatever this is, we'll work it out. The Empire offered me a deal. Cooperate or die slowly. I told them everything about the Resistance. Names, locations, plans. I knew it. The Empire has been slaughtering our people using your information! Give them something they can use. Tell them about the cloaking device. The Empire is studying it at the Balmoran Arms Factory. It's there, I promise. Why did you lie before? Why not tell us where to go? I was afraid if you went there, you'd find out what I'd done. You know the price of betrayal. Wait, she has enemy intelligence. She could be an asset. Colonel Finley needs information on the Empire. You work for him now. I'm sorry, Nicholas. I had no choice. Madel was ours to punish. The Resistance will not forget this insult. Neither will I. Thanks for saving her. I owe you. The Balmoran Arms Factory is the Empire's biggest stronghold. Assaulting this base was one thing, but taking on that fortress... I know that place inside out. Need a shortcut through that Rancor's den? Well, I'm your man. Welcome to the team, Doc. I'll try not to get you killed. Hey, if the Imperials attack with grenades, you can throw Doc on them. Colonel Finley and I will coordinate a full offensive against the Empire. We'll clear you a path to the Balmoran Arms Factory. The rest is up to you. Get that cloaking device prototype at all costs. May the Force be with them. Idiots! Did none of you think to stop an intruder? Or are we issuing invitations? No matter. You won't disrupt the work I'm doing to stabilize Balmora. You seem to have a very high opinion of yourself. Whether you're here out of some misguided attempt to save these criminals, or you're after Republic interests, you won't succeed. The Gorinth Brig and everyone in it serves the Empire. They live for it, they die for it. Killing you will give me great satisfaction. Disarm the intruder. Alive if possible. Dead as an example. Dr. Mel, Dr. Ortis. Doctor, Dr. Ortis, just give me a minute to catch my breath. I thought that fight would never end. Forgive him. This whole experience has been traumatic. 
Dr. Melon at your service. I can't believe you went to these lengths to rescue us. Thank you. I was told you designed the Barrager. I hope I'm not wrong. The Empire imprisoned us because of the Barrager, and now the Republic set us free. I think I know why you're here. The Barrager is an incredibly complicated and well-protected weapon, as designed. Luckily, our design notes are in contraband. We can use Lieutenant Vecker's credentials to override the security system and get those files. It'll lock down afterwards, of course, but we'll have what we need. Can the override do anything else? Change prison operations, security settings, nothing that's gonna help us now. With our files, we can create a foolproof spike for the Republic, guaranteed to get control of the Barrager. Wait just a minute. What about all those prisoners? You might have forgotten everything we've seen here, Doctor, but I haven't. This is our chance to destroy this terrible place. We have to use that override to let these people go. As for the Barrager, we'll figure out something. The Gorinth Briggs caused enough suffering. You may have just single-handedly condemned the Republic. The thanks of a thousand prisoners should make up for it. The override worked. Every security field in the Gorinth Brig has failed. We should get to a shuttle. Dr. Mel and I will do our best to get something together for the Barrager Spike. Thank you. I found the files about the Empire's stealth weapon research, but something's wrong. They're starting to erase themselves. I use TurboLift data cards all the time when I was here. They work with computers, too. Maybe we can transfer the files onto the data card Remy gave us. Copy them before they get deleted. What do you know? It worked. Not bad, huh? That was fast thinking. Well done. Fast thinking is my middle name. You suppose the Empire knows we're here? enough. We're almost done here. Nicolin, what are you doing? The cloaking device prototype belongs to the people of Balmora, not the Republic. This is our world, our war, and our victory. The Empire was on the verge of wiping out the Resistance before we got here. We spent decades fighting for this planet after the Republic rolled over for the Empire. Now you're back to loot our resources? This prototype may be the most valuable technology on Balmora. You're not taking it. Aren't the Jedi all about justice? If that's true, let us leave with what's rightfully ours. The cloaking device isn't the real prize. The Empire's research is what you want. They learned how to cloak missiles and bombs. Isn't that more valuable to Balmora's future security? I'll give you the data in exchange for the prototype. Interesting offer. One I'm inclined to accept. You have a deal. I'd offer you transportation, but I'm afraid the shuttle only seats two. Good luck. The Colonel won't be happy, but I'll smooth it over. I'm good with people. One thing's for sure. I'm not working for the Resistance anymore. Got a spare bunk on your ship for a superb combat medic? My mission is dangerous. You sure you want to get involved? Danger doesn't scare me. 
and involved is my middle name. One, I have the cloaking device prototype. After the blood that's been spilled today, that's a ray of hope. I'm returning to the Republic base where you first landed. Meet me there. Master Braga, the mission to Balmora was a success. We have the cloaking device prototype. Outstanding. I never doubted you for a moment. How did you find working with my old friend Warren? I've always been impressed by his keen insights. His intuition was critical. I couldn't have found the objective without him. You've brought us a great leap closer to finding the Emperor. But there's a new problem. I've lost contact with my Padawan under unusual and dangerous circumstances. You're uniquely qualified to deal with this. What is it that makes me so special? Your former student, Kira, has much in common with mine. Sejar is no ordinary Padawan. He was once a Sith Lord, a member of the Empire's Dark Council. We dueled on Dantooine. Fought for three days. I won when I convinced him to abandon the Dark Side and train as a Jedi. You turned a Dark Council member to the Jedi? Incredible. Your own victories are no less impressive. Bengalmore and former Lord Praven now serve the light side because of you. Sajar has fully embraced the Jedi way. Whatever has happened, it isn't his fault. He was guarding the Republic base on the planet Quesh when the Empire invaded and attacked our territories. You trusted Sajar to guard a Republic base in a war zone? When I sent him, Quesh was peaceful. Quiet, a good place for meditation while also serving the Republic. I just spoke with a soldier at Sajar's base. It's surrounded by Imperial forces and my Padawan refuses to act. Without Jedi help, that base will fall. My Padawan won't answer his holo. Sounds like he's afraid of something, but what? Only a strong Jedi can help Sajar and save the base. I'm transmitting the planet's coordinates now. Master Braga, out. Go. He needs you. And you need him. You haven't led me astray yet, Master Orgus. Uh... You alright? The hollow transmission's over. It's a Jedi thing. None of your business. This sounds urgent. We should go to Quesh right away. Master Braga, your Padawan and the Republic base are safe. The Imperials attacked, but I drove them off. Sajar is turning himself in to the Jedi Council. He confessed to committing war crimes against Imperial prisoners. I can't believe it. Rest assured, Master Satil will question him personally. I trust you'll show the proper discretion until this matter has been fully investigated. The Emperor's personal executioner was hunting your Padawan. He seemed more interested in meeting me, though. I sent him away empty-handed, but he said we'd meet again. What do you know about this Emperor's Wrath? The Council has heard that title, but little more. I'm sure his interest in you is related to the Darth Anquil incident. Our strike team is pursuing a new goal on the ice planet Hoth. We're up against pirates and Imperials there. We need your help. Travel to Hoth and contact Jedi Knight Leha Norez. She'll explain more. May the Force be with you. Master... Leha Narez sent me. Looks like I got here just in time. No worries, Master Jedi. I was prepared to hold this position indefinitely. Sergeant Fiddleton Rusk, 301st Infantry. My squad's at your service. There's no more squad! We're all that's left! We're a squad until I say otherwise, Private. Now on your feet. Leha said you're working with us. How did you get trapped here? Our objective was to secure Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. Target achieved. Imperial counterattackers pursued us here. Squad fatalities, 66.4%. Enemy fatalities, 100%. Hang on. I'm picking up a fresh wave of probe droids outside. They're headed this way. The Sergeant and I will handle this. Keep your head down. No loafing. You see a shot, take it. 
Yes, sir. Here they come! Fatalities, 100%. You can come out now, Private. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank this Jedi for doing your job, soldier. Sergeant, evacuate your man to a medical facility. These are the Imperial Survey maps the Starship Graveyard. Leha Nerez wants to see them. I'll return to base and reconstitute my squad. We'll meet you at her coordinates ASAP. Stay sharp out there. This is General Callan Green, Republic High Command. I just arrived in orbit above Hoth. Quite a mess down there. I'm told you commandeered some men from the 301st Infantry for your classified operation. The Imperial Offensive left us in bad shape. We've been scratching your back. Now we need a favor. The Jedi are always willing and ready to assist you. Scout teams detected several Imperial weapon platforms under construction in the ice fields near our base. If the enemy sets artillery that close, they can shoot down our shuttles. I need you to destroy those weapon platforms. Now. I'll move out immediately. Where am I going? You're receiving coordinates to the Imperial weapon platforms now. Good luck. I have the Imperial survey maps of the Starship Graveyard. I understand Sergeant Rust's squad paid dearly for these. Meaty One, please analyze the maps. Find any profile that matches a Pythar-class Imperial shuttlecraft. The Medes are pleased to meet you. They're great fans of yours. Hello there, my little friends. Aw, you've got your own booster club. Good for you. Ever since I built the Medes, I've been teaching them Jedi history, philosophy, everything. Someday, the Medes will prove that even droids can use the Force. If a droid became Force-sensitive, that would be extraordinary. The Council doesn't believe me, but I think it's already happened more than once. Throughout history, certain droids have achieved well beyond their design limitations. I believe the Force is the answer. Droids who go long enough without memory wipes develop personalities. Couldn't they develop more than that? I think you're onto something, Leha. You're the first member of our Order to admit the potential. Even Master Braga is skeptical. You found something? Let me see. Hmm. The Empire recently discovered a crash site matching the scientist vessel. Imperial forces are excavating the wreck at an ice cavern nearby. We need to move fast, and we'll need reinforcements. What are the odds this is the same vessel we're looking for? The level of effort the enemy is putting into that excavation can't be a coincidence. I'll contact Sergeant Rusk and inform him of the situation. You and I will hit the enemy from two directions. I'll enter the cavern at these coordinates. You go in at this entrance. We'll meet in the middle. Don't worry, Meaty. The Force is with us. Patience got the better of me. I blundered in here like a Padawan. The heavy turrets were an unpleasant surprise. All those turrets, just for us? I'm touched. You were surrendering, Jedi. I suggest you keep that promise. Give us a moment, please. I need to explain the situation to my friend. I obviously missed a lot. Give me the short version. I sprung a trap. The end. Turns out, the Imperial in the Hollow is more interested in capturing than killing us. Keep him talking. Trust me. My patience is at an end. Lay down your weapons or my men will destroy you. 
Those uniforms. You people aren't standard Imperial military. I am a member of the Emperor's personal guard, as are the men under my command. The soldiers you face are specially trained to kill Jedi, and they outnumber you. Not anymore, Imperial scum. They tricked us. Kill everyone! Got here as soon as we could. Had to engage some Imperial patrols in our way, but nothing serious. Nothing serious? Privates Vanth and Edder don't know what day it is. We're lucky to all be alive. Shut it down, Private. I don't tolerate insubordination. All of you, please listen. I know you've been through a lot. I understand your frustration. But a good Jedi, a good soldier, puts emotions aside to do what's necessary. To say the fate of the galaxy depends on us is no exaggeration. We must hold together. Keep that up, the Republic might make you a general. Let's honor this Jedi by giving our all. This is the scientist's vessel. And look what I found hiding under a dead Imperial officer. The rest of your unit is dead, Imperial. Start talking, or you'll join them. Please, I don't know anything. I'm just a computer tech. The Empire sent you here for a reason. Let's start with that. My job was to slice the databanks of this old starship, but the White Moor beat us to them. They lifted the whole network. The pirates stole the ship's databanks? They took everything valuable, but they missed the computer decryption file. They can't read the databanks without this. I'll be taking that. The White Maw maintains a depot inside a crashed dreadnought. Everything they loot goes there. White Maw has its own dreadnought? It was a Republic flagship during the war. The White Maw moved in, but doesn't control all of it. The pirates secure their depot with ray shields. We'll have to find some way past them to reach those databanks. The Midi scouted White Maw territory. They located two reactors buried beneath the ice. They're no doubt powering the ray shields. If we destroy the reactors, we can enter the pirate depot. Sergeant Rusk. Head for these coordinates and destroy the reactor there. My friend will destroy the one at these coordinates. If your squad runs into trouble, contact me. Likewise, Master Jedi. I'll escort our prisoner to the Republic outpost near the Starship Graveyard. The Medes will perform reconnaissance on the Dreadnought. When both pirate reactors are destroyed, meet me at the outpost and we'll plan our assault. Uh, a Jedi? Never killed one of your kind before. He sounds pleased. I'm not sure that's good. This should be interesting. If by interesting you mean dead, then yes, you should find this very interesting. I like your skin. I think I'll wear it. <laughs> it's nothing personal. We have to kill you. White Maw bosses don't forgive failure. Not in their natures. The Gendai got no regard for life, not even their own. Of course, it's easy for them. They're indestructible. If your leaders don't fear death, that's because they haven't met me. report the pirates' ray shields are down. Our goal is within reach. 
Any sign of Sergeant Rusk or his men? I expected them back by now. We were hitting the White Maw's weapon supply depots. I suspect they'll arrive any moment. I worry we asked too much of them. The men serving with Sergeant Rusk seem unhappy. Master Jedi, destroying the pirates' weapon depots took longer than expected, but the mission was a complete success. Squad strength remains at 100%. You've got you to thank for that. We had to go it alone? I'm sure your squad would have achieved the objective without me. Sure, but how many of us would be alive? Private Drummle, get back in formation. This is a full scan of the Dreadnought. The technical readouts are currently under minimal guard. Unfortunately, that area lies directly between two large forces. White Mob Pirates and Imperial Strike Teams. Which side has the advantage? The Pirates or the Imperials? They're at a stalemate. The Imperials have superior heavy weapons, but the Pirates are unnaturally resilient. Scans indicate the Pirate leaders are an alien species known as Gendai. Virtually impossible to kill. Sounds like a challenge. I will secure the technical readouts if you and Sergeant Russ keep those forces occupied. Which enemy would you prefer to face? I'll be fine either way. How can we minimize casualties to your squad, Sergeant? The pirates lack discipline. They'll panic under pressure. Make mistakes. That leaves the Imperials for you. Perhaps you can learn more about the Emperor's personal guard. Here are the coordinates to intercept the enemy forces. Once you engage them, I'll retrieve the technical readouts. Be careful facing the Imperials, my friend. May the Force be with us. I hoped you would come. Our prior meeting terminated unsatisfactorily. Surrender, and you will be treated well. Resist, and, well, you know the rest. Why take me alive? What does the Emperor want? Even if I could answer you, I wouldn't. I serve my master's will. He doesn't know. He's just following orders. Like a droid. I gave you a fair chance, and you refused it. Men, kill this Jedi. the technical readouts of the Emperor's Fortress. They contain schematics of its entire defense grid. Between this and the cloaking device prototype you recovered on Balmora, we have everything we need to capture the Emperor. This is a great day for the Jedi Order. Good work, Liha. Meet me at the main Republic base. Liha Naraz out. It's a wonder all your men survived such an enemy. How did you defeat the Gendai? Superior tactics, and a dozen thermal detonators. If that Gendai is still alive, I guarantee it wishes it wasn't. We couldn't have done this without you and your men. Your service has been exemplary, Sergeant. You and your men brought the Republic a great victory. The heroes of Hoth. I finally get to meet you in person. General Grain been a while. Hard to believe you and I started in the same squad. Still a ground pounder, huh? Wouldn't have it any other way. It's honest work, sir. After what he did here, he's earned a higher rank. The sergeant's happy where he is, but I do have a reward in mind. The 88th Armor Battalion is on its way. 
The 301st Infantry is being rotated back to Coruscant. I can't waste a soldier like Rusk on shore leave, so I'm assigning him to you. For how long, sir? Until the Sith Empire is defeated. The Sergeant has served us well. We'll gladly take him. The transfer is effective immediately. Good luck. My shuttle is small. There's hardly enough room for myself and the Medes. Perhaps Sergeant Russ should travel with you. Be honored to. Look forward to learning from a superior warrior. Excellent. I will deliver these technical readouts to Master Brago. You should contact him as well. May the Force be with you, my friends. Hello again. It's Bengal Moore. I hope you'll forgive me for sending another message. The Masters say talking about my feelings is good. Whether or not you watch these recordings, making them fills me with peace. I think I prefer talking to you, because you saw me at my worst. You understand better than anyone what I became. I remember the rage I felt when you killed my student, Kalef. He was the only true friend I had back then. I see now that his death was my fault. I led him to the dark side and forced you to kill him. That's a hard thing to live with, but I have to try. I owe you that. I need the Jedi Council's hollow frequency. Old Doc's gonna have a chat with your bosses. This code you people follow has you wrapped up tighter than the Emperor's shorts. It's not healthy. In my professional experience, enjoying life on a regular basis dramatically reduces your chances of falling to the dark side. Peace and contentment are the foundation of a good life. Everything else is only a distraction. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You have no idea what you're missing. I'm glad I'm around to keep things lively. The ship would be way too serious without me. Never a dull moment. We should visit war zones more often.
there. Good as new. Welcome back, friend. We've made astounding progress thanks to you. Analysis of the Hoth data has laid bare the entire defense grid of the Emperor's Fortress. There are weaknesses we can exploit. Even better, we understand how the cloaking device protects the fortress. We've just jury-rigged a scanner that sees through it. At last, the Emperor is within our reach. This is the beginning of the end for the Sith Empire. Will be the dawn that breaks the night. Our vessels are being prepped for the journey to Droman Kaas. Long range scanners will receive upgrades to detect the Emperor's fortress. We'll pilot our individual starships to land in different docking bays. Multiple targets will divide the enemy's defenses. Once we're inside the fortress, we'll each follow an assigned path through the security grid. We'll converge on the Emperor's throne room. We'll capture the Sith leader, bring him to Typhon and redeem him to the light side of the Force. A perfect victory. Redeeming the Emperor? You're nothing if not ambitious, Master Braga. Defeating the Sith through violence accomplishes nothing. We must embrace them as our own. It is the key to a lasting peace that will save countless lives. Master Braga, we must speak before this plan goes any further. There are those among us who have raised concerns. If anyone doubts our ability to do this, let them object. I'm sure we can dispel their doubts. I've always considered your plan reckless, Master Braga. Now your former team member comes to me with a disturbing vision you chose to ignore. Jomar, we discussed this. You should be in the Kolto Baths. You still haven't recovered from your attack on Tatooine. It was during those healing meditations that I saw a vision of this Jedi. He was falling to the dark side, becoming a Sith. Nothing in this galaxy could make me join our enemies. You will fall, and others with you. I saw it. The future is forever in motion. Events that appear certain today are impossible tomorrow. Must I remind the Council that the Jedi do not pass judgments based solely on visions? If you take him on this mission, it will fail. I should go instead. If Master Satil and the others agree with you, I'll step aside. I've known this Jedi since he was Master Orgus's Padawan. He has saved lives across the galaxy. I do not doubt his loyalty. Jomar, Master Caden, I appreciate your concerns, but I do not share them. I see no reason to delay Master Braga's mission. Thank you, Master Satil. And you, Master Kuix. No thanks are needed. With the Force as guide, I simply follow my conscience. Nothing more. No, this is wrong! I know what I saw! Master Braga, I demand you reconsider. There's too much at stake here. The time for debates is over. The hour of our victory approaches. My friends, we depart for the Emperor's Fortress at once. We'll coordinate our assault once we're all inside. May the Force be with us!
I've docked inside the Emperor's fortress. No sign of opposition. I may as well. Perhaps we caught the Emperor napping. I took some cannon fire getting in, but my shields held up. The Medes detect enemy forces converging on my hangar. <sighs> Looks like I drew the short straw. Everyone disembark. Follow your routes to the objective. No surrender, no retreat. Remember the Fallen, and do not fail them. I'll see you in the throne room. May the Force protect us all. Master Bugger, out. I can feel him. He's waiting. He'd be laughing if he still knew how. Who's laughing? I don't hear anything. The Emperor isn't afraid. He's just quiet. Still. All he feels is... cold rage. The Sith believe hatred makes them strong, but that's a lie. It's a weakness. We don't understand what he is. What he can do. We shouldn't have come. This is a trap. You'll be safe on the ship. I'll take one of the others. This isn't about me. We're all at risk. The docking base sealed shut behind us. Retreat is not an option. I'll go with you. Maybe I should stay and look after Kira. Poor kid. Look at her shaking. No offense, my little friend, but you're easier to fix if you get hurt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
good as new. the Emperor's Sanctum. There is only one punishment. The Emperor's Wrath. You left empty-handed on Quesh. Prepare for another disappointment. Your friends did not survive. You fight alone. Not alone. The Force is with us. By my master's command, you must die. Jedi's finest. It is not enough to save you. I'm here for your master. If you want to live, leave him to me. You haven't earned an audience with him. Be careful what you wish for. Surrender, Sith. You and your master cannot stand against all of us. I knew you weren't dead. What took you so long? We discovered a few changes to the security grid. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now. Let's finish this. Misdirected passion. Such a waste. My friends and I wish to speak with you. Please accompany us to Tython. An infantile display, Tolbraga. Reckless pride, limbed by self-righteousness. You are master of nothing. I knew you wouldn't come quietly. I will end you, here and now. You mistake me for your own weak flesh. I do not end. You stand there because I allow it. Because I do not fear. Mine. So 
servants, slaves, weapons. And you will obey. Free yourself. You're stronger than his influence. Fight. Master Orgus? What happened? The Emperor clouded your mind in darkness. Made you do terrible things. You've been the Emperor's pawn a long time. But you're finally free. I've been under his control for days? Weeks? Time has less meaning for me than you. Long enough. You're still aboard the Emperor's Fortress. The enemy is everywhere, but they think you serve them. Keep your true nature secret. Find a way out. Your dark ally will help. I'll play along until I can break free. Thank you, old friend.
The Force is with you again. Be strong. Stop muttering to yourself, Acolyte. Today we test your ability to extract information from the enemy. Knowledge is power. Our enemies possess the secrets to their own annihilation. We must learn everything. I'm ready for my lesson. Please instruct me. One of the scum you arrived with awaits interrogation. You'll conduct it while I watch. Which particular bit of scum are you referring to? I came here with several. The Jedi girl. I understand she used to be one of us. Follow me. I'll instruct you in using the Tormentor device. I look forward to it. After you. You can't let them do this. I know you're still in there. Let's begin. It's a simple device. Three inducement settings, each inflicting greater pain on the subject. The tormentor monitors the subject's vital signs, stopping just short of delivering lethal damage. Still quite agonizing, however. I know you're still in there. You're not one of them. If I beat him, you can too. Proceed with the lowest inducement setting. Get your subject focused. Bad news, Overseer. I don't work for the Emperor anymore. And neither do you. You're free. Are you alright? I'd kiss you if we weren't in the middle of Sith Central. This place is crawling with Sith who don't know you're back to normal, but you won't fool them forever. We need to leave. Quick. T7 and the others are still in the docking bay, locked in cages. We can free everyone and take back the ship. We have to warn the Jedi Council about what's happened. One thing at a time. First, we need to get out of here alive. Step away from my ship. We're leaving. If I wished to fight, I would not have freed your crew, or killed these guards. More guards will come. Shall we go before they arrive? Free Master Tol Braga and my fellow Jedi, and I'll consider it. If they were here, I'd have liberated them as well. I could have killed you on Quesh had I wanted. Did you never wonder why I hesitated? I have waited over 300 years to see the face that came to me in a vision. Your face. How can that possibly be true? I am much older than you think. 
Only a few beings have ever broken the Emperor's domination. You and that girl are special. Kiran and I have the power to destroy your master. Not yet. Not without my help. Though the Emperor seeks to conceal his true plans, I have seen them. That vision has driven me to this. I pledge my loyalty to you. Take me to your Jedi Council on Tython, and I'll reveal why. We're not actually considering this. I mean, he's obviously full of awful. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm with Doc. This is a trap. I seek to save this galaxy from annihilation. Without my help, your ship will never escape. I can guide you to freedom. An old friend told me I'd meet a dark ally here. I think he meant you. I will always be Sith. But that does not mean we can't work together. Time is a luxury we no longer possess. We must go now. I will navigate us through the defense grid. Thank you for your trust, Jedi. I might not have given mine so freely were our positions reversed. Tell me more about this vision. What makes someone like you bow to me? I will speak of my vision in detail to your council. Suffice it to say, I have long opposed my Lord Emperor. For a time, I worked with the greatest of your Jedi heroes, Revan and the Jedi Exile. But they did not have the strength to complete their task. That's quite a claim. You will find no proof. I hid my association with them well. Nonetheless, I was their ally in the shadows, helping them oppose my Lord Emperor. Until my vision. Jedi. Shining with the Force lined up to destroy him. All were swept aside. Revan and the Exile were cast at my feet. Then, out of the shadows, one Jedi emerged to cut the Emperor down. That Jedi wore your face. If the hopes of so many rest with me, I will do my best to honor them. If you succeed, there will truly be a void left to fill. In the vision, I bowed to you and took a crown from the Emperor's head. It ended... It's been so long. We thought you were lost forever. The mission to seize the Emperor has failed. He's more powerful than we realized. Master Braga, Liha Nerez, and Warren Sidoru are still missing. The Emperor's wrath helped us escape. He betrayed his master to join our side. Sith serve no one but themselves. I altered my loyalties to avert a threat to myself and you. Jedi are not alone in seeing the future. Centuries ago, I had a vision of the Emperor destroying the galaxy. Republic, Empire, everything gone. This Jedi has the power to stop him. I have good reason to believe he's telling the truth. The renewed war is merely a diversion to conceal the Emperor's designs. His true plans are already in motion across the galaxy. One by one, every star system will simply die. Trillions will perish. How does that benefit the Emperor? He'll feed on those deaths to become more powerful than all the Jedi and Sith combined. 
an immortal being of unlimited power. Are you the only Sith who learned the truth of his plans? If others have, they're dead. Or serving him without realizing the cost. A thousand years ago, the Emperor tricked an entire Sith world into aiding a dark ritual. He promised great power. Only for himself, of course. The ritual consumed every living thing on the planet. He absorbed those life essences through the Force. That explains how he's lived so long, and where all his power comes from. That was merely one world. Imagine what he'll become after consuming millions. The Emperor has manipulated events for centuries towards one goal, performing an even greater ritual that will destroy this galaxy. But the ritual requires a great sacrifice to begin. Billions of simultaneous deaths. He seeks to commit genocide on Belsavis. That prison world holds the worst filth captured by the Republic. Mass murderers, tyrants, even captured Sith Lords. We've kept the planet's location secret for decades, if the Emperor has found it. Once a sacrifice occurs, the Emperor's ritual cannot be stopped. We must save Belsavis. We? Your role in this is over, Sith. Put away your weapon, Master Caden. The Sith is cooperating. He'll come with me. I know the Emperor's ways. Belsavis is not the only world in danger. We must find the others, and I cannot help you from a prison cell. Like it or not, we need each other. He's right. I can feel the truth. Without his help, we are all dead. The Council will concentrate on locating other worlds at risk, and finding our missing friends. I'm counting on you to stop the Emperor's plans. I know this has been hard for you to accept, but it's our best hope. I promise I won't fail. Contact me when you reach Belsavis, and don't rely too closely on your ally. I'm disrupting the fabled Jedi calm. I suggest we depart. <laughs>